After a shocking start, Marc Marquez bounced back to win the Australian Grand Prix in Phillip Island. In bizarre scenes on the starting grid, the Grassini rider appeared to slip on a visor tear-off. The eight-time world champion lit up his rear wheel in a cloud of smoke. Really bad was his start that entering turn one the number 93 was 13th. However, that incident couldn't stop his superior pace as he quickly climbed through the field and took the lead over Jorge Martin who controlled proceedings early with factory Ducati rider Francesco Bagnea. I never pulled a tear off in the start because for the start and everything it is dangerous, but this time when I was pulling the whole shot device, just something was super big here, motioning at his face, and I then I didn't have the chance and I pulled the tear off, said Marquez. Unlucky, it was under my wheel, and I saw it. I tried to remove, but it was impossible. In fact, when I released the clutch, I started to spin. I don't know where I was in the first corner but I overtook many riders and I thought at one time it was impossible to catch Martin but then in lap 3 I started to get the rhythm. I was more calm because the beginning was more stressful. Super happy for the victory. It is true Martin pushed all the race and I was saving the tire to have the last attack. On lap 12, Martin made a mistake that brought him back into the clutches of Bagnea and Marquez. Bagnea briefly led the race out of turn 2 but Martin immediately got the lead back into turn 4 and Marquez followed him through. Bagnea was condemned to third as Martin and Marquez skipped away and left the Ducati factory rider for dead. With fourth laps to go, Marquez passed Martin out of turn 4 but a lap later Martin's superior straight line speed paid dividends and he got the lead back at turn 1. Later that lap, Marquez made the decisive pass for the lead at turn 4. He lunged late and cast Martin wide of the apex. Marc Marquez stretched his legs, ultimately winning by 0.997 seconds at the checkered flag. Bagnea was third in a whopping 10 seconds in arrears. VR46 rider Fabio Di Gianantonio was fourth followed by Ennia Bastianini was fifth. Securing a valuable point on the second place, Jorge Martin said. I had a strong pace but the feeling was not the same. The moment Peko passed me I said, you have to push yourself. Then Marquez came. I tried but it was risky to attack. I came third and we are going to Thailand, a track I love. Anything more than that was difficult. Today we got a little better, I tried to stay with Jorge, then I tried to stay with Mark. But I had a hard time with the road holding, especially in the corners. Others did a better job. Peko Bagnea commented. <laughs>